billboard sponsored by Lulu Dharma. Today we're covering dating in LA. We're gonna show you the best places and things to do. And who better to show us around than the cast of Vanderpump Rules, a show built on dating each other. Los Angeles, the entertainment capital of the world. Whether you live here or you're just visiting, this extraordinary city is filled with some of the world's most unique businesses. From intriguing startups to thriving landmarks, these places are ready to be seen again or discovered for the first time. I'm Robert Parks Valletta, and I would like you to join me and my friends as we show you why this is LA. The thing that I'm really excited about today is that we're gonna get a girl's perspective and a guy's perspective. So what would completely win you guys over? A private jet, for sure. <laughs> yeah, kind of why we're friends. It's the only reason why we're friends. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Before you go anywhere, you gotta find someone first, right? So as much as I would love to be the person to advise you on this, uh, there's actually somebody out here in LA who does this professionally. Check it out. Dating in LA is really hard. So I've decided to meet my friend, Julie Furman. She is one of the world's best professional matchmakers. And her mission is to help people find love in this socially chaotic place that we call Los Angeles. There's a major problem with dating in LA right now. Well, there's this understanding, a sort of an unspoken thing in Los Angeles that the most desirable people are the ones with the most beauty and the ones with the most power and the most money and fame and all of that. None of that has anything to do with having a great relationship. People don't just walk up and say hello to each other. They're all looking at their phones and it, they're too cool to smile at each other. Those were things that used to work. Eye contact, smiling, they actually still do work. It's just people are forgetting to do it. What I want to know is how did you get started? <laughs> I designed a company based on what was lacking. Because what's one of the problems of online dating? You show up, you have this great picture, you look at the girl. It's, that was your high school photo, right? Yeah. yeah. I have 30,000 people I've privately inventoried in Los Angeles since 2001. I work with people to create this romance marketing plan, which takes about an hour to do. What is a romance marketing plan? The romance marketing plan is a chance for people to get really serious about who they're looking for, what they want in their life. And it's a strategic plan for how to cause connection to happen. Kind of like a business plan, but it's personal. It's about creating love in our lives. It's the most important decision we're gonna make in our entire life, and we leave it to chance. That makes no sense. You've really given me hope that there is an opportunity for everybody to find love, even in a crazy place as LA. Absolutely, it's, in a way, it's the best time ever to be single and dating, because we do have these options. I'm one of the options. You are, you are, <laughs> you are the best option. So when you find the perfect one, you can't go wrong with a nice dinner, and we're in one of the best places for that in LA, Sir Restaurant. Welcome to Sur. Thank you, thank you. So, a lot of people know about the restaurant. Right. But they don't know the full story, do they? Right. You came out here for your Hollywood dream, which was obviously acting, right. like a lot of other people. Right. But you've now made a new Hollywood dream. So tell me, how did the restaurant start? When it started in 1998, uh, in that time we have 12 tables. Uh, the menu was mostly like an Argentinian steakhouse. Uh, but my partner, Lisa, became very popular with um, uh, Real Housewife. Yeah. They offered off, uh, to do a TV show, and voila, yeah, now sure. it's uh, season number five. And uh, who's the chef? Yeah, his name, we call him Joe. His name is Jose Martinez. I met him 20 years ago, a little longer than that, and he's still working with me. So that proof that, and guarantee that the food yeah. is great in here. Yeah. What dishes do people have to try when they come in here? Right, the chicken and shrimp dumplings. It's an appetizer. It's a um, um, chicken and shrimp with a Thai sweet chili sauce. Delicious. And then we're gonna uh, try the crispy chicken, which is, we call it fried chicken, but the good part of this, it is uh, deep fried for 10 seconds, but then go to the oven for 20 minutes, which is a uh, dried all the grease and, uh, but mostly, you know, the menu in here is help. So what do you think the most important thing that makes Sir so successful is? I think the most important thing is one word, family. Whoever worked with us 
is, uh, is, is considered family. And all together, we create an energy that people, when they walk in here, they feel it, and they want to come back to feel that and be part of this. So family is the key for us. I feel it just from sitting here talking to you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you. Anytime. I look forward to seeing you soon. We'll see you tonight. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> there you go. Okay, but before we go out on a date, we have to get ready. And for girls, that is a whole other process. So we're going to show you some of our favorite spots for all of you ladies at home. One of the most important things in getting ready for a date is obviously your hair. This isn't gonna work for my date tonight, so I am meeting my best friend, Ariana, and one of her favorite stylists, Lisa Smith. We're gonna get me all done up for my date. So what are you thinking? I'm thinking maybe something kind of messy and tossed inside. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna come for you. Mm -hmm. it smells really good. Yeah. Vegan, it's gluten free. As a colorist, I just always try to make sure that we are environmentally sound, biodegradable. Is that pressure okay for you? Um, yes. <laughs> How'd that feel? Amazing. <laughs> it's time to wake up now. <laughs> huh. Ariana's told me a lot about you. What brought you out to Woodland Hills? My colleague and I both came out here from Beverly Hills. I think what was most important for me with this experience is it's wonderful to be in a big, high-end, bustling salon, but there's something that I miss about the intimacy. It doesn't matter if you're a student or if you're a professional. The VIP experience is very important. As soon as you walk in the store, you leave a stress yeah. out there, and this is the experience to just enjoy, and it's very intimate. I love that. Yeah. Especially in LA. It's like everyone wants to be treated like a celebrity and get the mm -hmm. VIP treatment. But yeah. I like this because it's like we can chat, and it's like there isn't a salon filled with other people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I talk a lot. I, so. no, I do too. <laughs> and I like this intimate experience. Yeah. If we can, in our service industry, bring something of that back so you feel you're the VIP, mm -hmm. that's what we're doing and it, and it makes my job more pleasurable. Yep. So, okay. and that's awesome. speaking of more pleasurable, is it time for champagne? Like Ooh, this? it's I always so. champagne time. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> You're all finished. How do you feel? Great. Amazing. Great I love it. Red carpet ready. Yeah, girl. Boom. So has anyone noticed I'm glowing lately? I <laughs> It's not the new cheek highlighter. It is because I went to a place called Beauty Skin Glow. Check it out. All right, so we couldn't do a Dating in LA episode without getting some female perspective. One of my must-do things is Beauty Skin Glow in Woodland Hills. This is going to get your skin glowing and date ready every day. So fill me in. What's going on? I have a date tonight. It's a cool. movie premiere, like red carpets, lights, cameras, the whole shindig. Cool. So I felt like coming here to get, you know, just my skin glowing so I feel really good and confident. Okay. We'll analyze your skin and then we'll customize a facial for you. Yeah, and that's like my favorite thing is you do the personalized facials. So. Right. And we'll get you glowing for this evening. How does that sound to awesome. you? Awesome. Sounds perfect. Fabulous. Thank you. All right. So walk me through what we're going to do to my face today. So after taking a look at it, I'll do a mask and then I'll do some oxygen. Ooh, I love the oxygen. It's amazing. And it'll give you a really nice glow. Sounds good. Okay. So I'm just cleansing your skin. I'm just kind of, you know, making sure that your skin's nice and clean. How long have you been here again? I don't even remember the first time I came to this spot because you weren't always here. Now, I started coming here seven months ago. I love this spot though. It's very zen and relaxing. It's always fun to like come into a salon and. It's important that people feel safe in an environment. Mm -hmm. And because I work with cancer patients, I mm -hmm. have to be sure that I find a space where people feel safe enough. But with the cancer patients, you go to them too, right? I do. It's nice for them to just be able to relax. Yeah, that's amazing that you do that. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so after this mask is taken off, you're doing the oxygen? It's a nebulizer that has an activator in it. And what it does is it plumps the cells and regenerates new cells. It'll make your skin look dewy. Ooh. And it'll give it a nice glow. I love that. Yeah, me too. Dewy natural glow. All right, 
You are all set. So great to see you. Thank you. My pleasure. Dewy, glowing, feels so good. As fun as it is to get caked up, throw some heels on, sometimes it's fun to just be cozy, eat a pie, drink some wine. If that's the kind of night you're looking for, you want to go to Pie Bar. I'm down here at historic Pine Avenue in Long Beach, California, to whip me up a little slice of heaven. And what do I mean by that? I'm go check out a place called Pie Bar. Ah. Looks like we're here. Okay, so this is the pie bar that everybody is talking about, so I had to come check it out, and you're the one responsible for it. I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. Yes. And, and so this is the perfect little date spot. Yeah, totally. We'll have couples come in and get a little bit of pie, a little bit of wine. That's yeah. the perfect date night. It is. <laughs> so how did you get this whole thing started? Um, I have lost my corporate executive job in October 2014, but I'm the type of person that nothing stops me, I don't quit, and I knew how to bake pie, and I loved baking. So I started baking for friends and family, and two years later, we had lines out the door, opening day. So you're the epitome of when life gives you lemons, you turn it into lemon ring pie. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, I went from pie charts to pies. <laughs> So what is this wall of fame? I started a Kickstarter campaign and we raised $31,000 to get the shop open. So you had a whole community come in and support you to do this. Yeah. Now, what kind of different foods do you guys have here? We do 50 different types of pie. We do banana cream. We do a vegan chocolate coconut. Our top seller is key lime. And then we do savory, we've got um, chicken pot pie, shepherd's pies. And then um, I came up with doing a flight of pie shots because it kind of fits in with the whole bar theme. Yeah, and what kind of pie am I doing today? Um, you're gonna try a s'mores jar with our house-made marshmallow fluff. I know, Can we right? stop talking about it already? Look, you like making pies, I like eating pies. Yep. I feel like this relationship is gonna work out really it well. It will. Lori, I love you. I love you too. Um, but if you guys are looking for a place to grab a little date night, make sure you take your little sweetie pie to Pie Bar, because this is gonna be something special. dressed up right now, but I also love doing things casual with a hint of competition. So I took Rob here to a place called LA Racing, where there is no dress up required other than a helmet. I feel like we're moving a little fast here. Oh, we're going really fast. Literally. Nice to meet you. Ryan Partridge, welcome to LA Racing. Ready to have fun? I am ready. All right. First off, we're going to talk about our track, Half Mile Super Speedway of Short Tracks. I know it only looks like there's only two corners, but we break the track up into four sections. So we have the front straightaway, we have turn number one, turn number two, the back straightaway, turn number three, and then turn number four. Look, I'm a professional race car driver, but we get drivers of all types. I mean, I get people that just get their driver's license and come straight out here. So don't be worried. How fast do the cars go? Today, we're going to expect you guys to get anywhere up to 60 to 130 miles an hour. What makes LA Racing such a great experience, besides we're open year round, is it's a no holes barred experience. We don't slow you down. We have no speed limiters or governors on the cars. You can go as fast as you want to go, as long as you're safe and smooth. Today, we're going to be wearing a Simpson double layer Nomex fire suit, a pant and jacket setup, a fire retardant gloves, a Snell rated helmet, there's no speedometer in the car. No speedos in the car, tack only. For racing purposes, we only go off the stopwatch. We only want to beat the guy next to us. We don't care how fast we're going. Have any questions? No. Nope. All right. No going back now. I ain't going back. You ready for this? It's time for a little shake and bake. All right, let's have some fun. Now. 
most amazing things I've ever done. I just feel bad you got last place. No, actually, you did. No, no, I just had to slow no. down because you were going so slow. Okay, I'll just let you have this one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I do love a casual competition as much as the next guy, but Rob, I'm sure you can relate to this. There's the other side of the guy who wants to dress up, who wants to look smooth. I agree, Tom, I, I love suits, you know, but let's just say hypothetically, I knew a guy who was 5'8 and had shoulder length hair and he was a science and tech guy and his name was Misha. Where would I get him a suit? Wow, that sounds uh, very specific. Your uh, hypothetical science guy should probably head over to this place, Jimmy House. We'll get them all nice and set up. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Rob. I think you guys were talking about me. You know, I know you're both over six foot, and that has its challenges. I mean, you got no leg room on airplanes. You're always ducking under low doorways. People are always asking you to reach up for things. I'm just assuming, of course, because I'm five foot seven, and my life is perfect. The only issue I ever have is finding a perfectly fitted suit. But thanks to you guys sending me here to Jimmy Owls, that's not an issue for the vertically challenged like me. Alan, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me today. Pleasure, welcome. I got some dates coming up my friends are setting me up on, and they told me I gotta come to Jimmy Owls and check out the different styles for me specifically and guys like myself. I gotta ask, how did the whole five foot eight and under thing start? Well, my dad's only 5'2", and it was easier to fit shorter men. Now, is there a large percentage of society that needs to come to a store like this? 30% of men in the U.S. are 5'8 or shorter. I can believe that, because 100% of the best looking people in the U.S. are 5'8 and shorter, so there you go. found a good niche. Now, when did he start doing that? He started in 1961, before I was born. Okay, so he's been doing it for a while. Yes, he has. How did you get involved in the business? I grew up in the business. Uh, I got more involved uh, after college, and I decided to help develop the business and make it more of what it is today. But we really needed to expand to sportswear and casual wear. In all these designs, what do you think is the best benefit for someone like myself coming into this store? Well, first of all, the collection is designed for guys like you and I. But on top of that, once you begin shopping, you start to realize everything's a possibility. You're not just stuck buying the one item that's in your size. I got these dates coming up, and I got to look styling. So can you help me out here? Yes, let's go try some stuff on. What I see here is that you have really broad shoulders, and you do have a thick chest. But as you can see, the sleeves are too long. This is my favorite shirt. Your jeans are kind of fuller than they need to be. So I think I can put you in something to help give you a longer leg line and make you look a little trimmer. All right. And uh, let's start with something casual. Let's do it. OK, I like this. I got to say, the shirt feels great. And I don't wear a lot of light colors. So it's nice to find something in this color range that, that fits my body type. Well, what's really nice is that we're able to fit your shoulders, but keep a slim body to help have you looking trim, which in turn makes you look a little more athletic. All right, this is good for casual. Let's step it up one notch, okay? All right, sounds good. All right, this is more like my style. My favorite thing about this is the only other leather jacket that ever fit my shoulders came down to like my waist. Like, Well, it looks like it's a really good fit, especially for you in the shoulder and the chest but you can see the vertical pattern woven into the shirt. When you combine all those elements, it just makes you look taller. This is nice, this is good. Looks really sharp. Pollock. Misha Pollock. Alan, why do I feel so good? I feel like I'm James Bond. Because it fits right. If you look here on the shoulder and your chest, it's sitting right where it needs to. The arm isn't too big, so it slims your arm, makes it look longer. The waist is taken in, so it makes you look more athletic, giving you a trimmer look altogether. And on top of that, we have a smaller print with some verticality in it with a stripe. And this actually makes me kind of sad because I think this might be the best fitting suit I've ever had in my life. Well, the goal is to make you look polished. Alan, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. We are all very pleased that your father wasn't 6'4". I'm excited I get to go out and then uh, be my best and be confident at it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thanks thank for coming you. in. Thank this you. Is, this is great. This is going to be a good time. You're going to buy that, right? So you're all dressed up. You've got places to go. But what if it's time to take it to the next level? You want to go to this spot right here to check out some rings. So 
what's the goodness that we have here? I'm from Javda. Javda is basically a manufacturing workshop. We start, we create everything right from the scratch, from the designing part to the manufacturing to the diamond setting, and then the final touch of setting the center stone. And all these rings are 100% custom made with real natural diamond and GIA certified. That brings up quality. Wow. So all of these rings are one of a kind? Yes. This is our signature ring, which is called Vintage Collection, and mm -hmm. it's our showstopper. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. And this is the men's version. If they don't want to go all eternity, they can go half. Right. So you can create full version or half version, men's and women's. Oh, okay. cute. Or That's his and her style. You can have a matching one with your boo. Yeah. Just I love that. that. Need That's to get so a boo first. Cute. Anything is possible. So if you like to add your personal touch to it or customize according to the center stone. So every ring is individually designed. You could change the stone in any of them. Exactly. Everybody wants to be different mm -hmm. and that's where we come in. We create it to make it look one of a kind. And of course, when you want to add your personal taste to it or maybe like even engraving messages, we can absolutely do that. That's amazing. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you yeah, so much. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. It was so thank great you. to meet you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Back to work. Hey, guys. You couldn't help but overhear your conversation about dating. I'm Mike Capes, the new busser at Sir. And, uh, you know, sometimes dating just doesn't work out. Take it from me. I'm a 38-year-old, newly divorced busboy. I love pouring water and wearing tight shirts, but what I don't love is when dating goes awry. So I want to point you to the law offices of Sarah Intelligator. Hi. Hi, Rob. Nice to meet you, Sarah. Nice to meet you. OK, so the conversation came up about relationships not always working out. And they are all telling me that you take a different approach on family law. I do take a different approach on family law, and that is what I call holistic divorce and family law. It's a very unique area of law in that we're dealing with human beings in a very fragile state. My goal in my practice is making sure that the human experience is honored in the litigation process. Oftentimes, people are being asked to make decisions about their children, about their futures, and they're being asked to do so at a time when they're going through arguably one of the most difficult times in their lives, emotionally. And so it's important for me to hold that person's hand through the process. It almost sounds to me as if you're almost a coach, or is this just something that you're naturally good at? <laughs> I've been a yoga teacher since 2000. That has really very much informed my practice of family law. People oftentimes come to yoga because they need to just relax or get rid of stress. And they look to me to guide them through that process. And also with a client, I have that ability to take people from up here and frazzled and to a really calm state. Maybe even just by sitting down and saying, okay, let's just take a couple breaths together. Okay, so if you're giving everybody in LA, some dating advice from a yoga teacher's perspective and a legal perspective, what would that advice be? From the law perspective, make sure that you are getting into it for the right reasons. Make sure that you share common values, not just like we have the same taste in music. From the yoga perspective, which is somewhat similar, it's practice self-awareness. You know, be honest with yourself, take a moment to reflect on why it is that you're doing what you're doing, what's motivating your actions. Thank you for having me. Uh, I love the insight on sort of the merging of the two worlds, and I think that everybody will really appreciate that. So thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mike, thanks so much for setting me up with Sarah. She was actually really cool. Oh, yeah, Sarah's the best. But you know what? If you're going to do an episode on dating, we got to end on a sweet note. As you know, I've been an ice cream enthusiast for God some time. You have, yeah. And, uh, you know, there's no better place to take someone for a nice time than for ice cream, right? It's a classic. Our parents were doing it, our grandparents before then. They go to the sock hop, they dance, they go to the ice cream shop after they get one malt with two straws. You know what I mean? No. Well, you know, they, their faces were, doesn't matter. It's in the past now, Rob, and we are in the future. Rob? Welcome to the future. Hey, Mike. Hey, 
Hey, May, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm good, I brought myself a date. This is Rob. Hi, I'm Rob. Hi, I'm May. Uh, we're not on a date. But May, you would agree that if you're going on a perfect date, you want to take him out for ice cream, right? Of course. People fall in love over ice cream. Our parents have been doing it, our grandparents before that. But here's the best part about this place. You get tons of choices that they didn't have. May, give them some of the choices. First, you're going to choose your size on the base, and then your flavor, and then your toppings. And then you can also upgrade your bowls to waffle, brownie, or chocolate. OK. Look at that. There's over a 1,000 combinations. So when you're on a date, right, you guys get to create your own ice cream, and then you get to try it. And if you like it, boom, you fall in love. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works, Mike. No, that's how it works. May, tell them that's how it works. Rob, you're going to fall in love. Boom. Oh, OK. Uh, I, I guess that's how it works. That's how it works. So you give her your choices, and then we're going to see some magic happen. Go ahead. Well, May, you know, I'm a chocolate lover. All right. Let's do a little rocky road. Did you want to do that with the chocolate base or the Nutella? Let's do Nutella. Let's have some bananas. Banana. All right. Did you want to mix those in or on top? You can mix them in? Yes, of course. Mix them in, May. And did you want to upgrade any of the bowls? So since we're on a chocolate kick, let's throw a brownie in there. May knows exactly what I want. What do I want? All right. So you want the regular size premium base? cookie butter flavor with chocolate curls with whipped cream on top and a chocolate bowl, right? That is correct. Throw in some bananas this time. All right, gotcha. I'm feeling a little frisky today. How right. often do you come here? Every day, but that doesn't matter. We're on a date right now, and what's important is, is we're about to watch a master creamologist at work. You're going to fall in love. All right, I'm like, I'm not going to fall You're in gonna love. You're going to fall in love. Boom. We will. We're not on a date. Mm. She gets it right every time. This is so good. Try mine. Don't look me in the eyes. Mm. How you feel now? I'm gonna love the ice cream, you know. May, how does Rob feel right now? Rob, you're in love. Ooh. Thanks, man. Guys, we're not on a date. Thank you guys for giving me some great yeah. dating advice. All of you told me some great places to go, so it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah I mean, it was the racing really fun. the best place to go. The racing okay. actually it was, was it really wasn't fun. The best. I did like but that. It, it, it's not it's always about how, how, how would you know? It's not about being the first one. You haven't got It's not about being the first one. All of us had good ideas. Reality stars. They're just like us. I don't want to share Billboard sponsored by Creamistry. And Lulu Dharma.